Hey there, Kerry families, and welcome to this week's Bible reading for the Splash Zone. Today, we're taking a look at Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6 to 17. The Israelites have been exiled, captured from their land, and taken away to another place. Jerusalem, their capital city, was destroyed. And now, Nehemiah has come back and is rebuilding Jerusalem with a group of the Israelites. Let's take a look at this little bit of the story. The people worked hard and we built the walls of Jerusalem halfway up again. But Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the people from the city of Ashdod saw the walls going up and the holes being repaired. So they became angry and decided to stir up trouble and to fight against the people of Jerusalem. But we kept on praying to our God and we also stationed guards day and night. Meanwhile, the people of Judah were singing a sorrowful song. So much rubble for us to haul, worn out and weary, will we ever finish this wall? Our enemies were saying, before those Jews know what has happened, we will sneak up and kill them and put an end to their work. On at least 10 different occasions, the Jews living near our enemies warned us against attacks from every side. And so I sent people to guard the wall at its lowest places and where there were still holes in it. I placed them according to families and they stood guard with swords and spears and with bows and arrows. Then I looked things over and told the leaders, the officials and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of your enemies. The Lord is great and fearsome. So think of him and fight for your relatives and children, your wives and homes. Our enemies found out that we knew about their plot against us, but God kept them from doing what they had planned. So we went back to work on the wall. From then on, I let half of the young men work while the other half stood guard. They wore armor and had spears and shields, as well as bows and arrows. The leaders helped the workers who were rebuilding the wall. Everyone who hauled building materials kept one hand free to carry a weapon. That's just a little part of the story. So you might want to read the entire of chapter 4 or maybe even go through the whole story of Nehemiah this week. Why do you think God wanted them to rebuild Jerusalem? Why do you think he helped them get it done? Parents, over to you for your family discussion time. Hope you have some really great chats. And kids, I can't wait to hear what you learn from this passage as we talk about it on Sunday. See you then.